but we can't take the, the lifts. They'll, I think they'll help us out, but we're not, they're the ones who get the drive. Okay, thanks. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we get the place up and running. Stages get placed. Then the weekend's on, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Show ends at 10 o'clock on Sunday night. We start basically loading the thing out. By 6 a.m. on Monday, we try to have the whole place cleared. So it's a fast turnaround, um, trying to get it back to basically being just a regular old city park. I feel like a lot of music festivals, they just kind of try and cram the, the roster full of all these different types of acts who will appeal to the broadest number of music fans possible. We always wanted it to be affordable and manageable and, and also like friendly. We started this thing and said, how can we do a festival that takes the best parts of the festivals we like to go to and uses them to our advantage and also eliminates all the things that, that everyone thinks are the shittiest parts of what people do at music festivals. The booking is a process that we pay so much attention to detail on. I think there were some really great performances, even better than I expected. And maybe even like the, the weirdness with the, the rain and the heat kind of maybe contributed to like yeah. everybody really being into it a little bit more even so. Inevitably you have to just be like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get wet and this isn't going to stop and I'm going to dry at some point and it will be fine. And yeah. I'm just going to focus on having a good time. Yeah, it's crazy to be to have done this, you know, now for eight years in a row. And um, you know, people keep asking, "Yo, do you guys ever want to make it bigger? Do you ever want to expand?" And you know, I love it the size that it is. And it's nice to celebrate uh, and see the fruits of your labor. It's, it's like a child, like a festival child, <laughs> an eight-year-old child. It's like an eight-year-old festival child out there. It's finally getting grown up. It's talking back, <coughs> spitting on you. You know, I think people really love the, uh, you know, the, the aspect of it being sort of tight-knit, community-driven, but also, um, you know, just easy to navigate. You know, the city sort of allowed us to, to kind of root down and get, um, you know, sort of get our bearings. It, it allowed me to experience a lot more music in a live setting in the first place. So being able to kind of bring that, kind of, um, you know, give a little bit of something back to it. I mean, the festival of all the things that Pitchfork has accomplished in, you know, it's 15 plus years of being around, the, the Chicago Festival, I think, is the thing that I'm the most proud of.